Whatever you do, don't fall flat on your face in Asia. Hi, I'm David Clyde Price, author of The Master Key to Asia and The Master Key to China and founder of the International Business Passport Coaching Programs. So, make sure that you don't fall flat on your face in Asia. You see, the problem is that sometimes thinking about etiquette too much can have the opposite effect. Thinking about the traditions, the customs, trying to fit in, etc. can become a headache. You become terribly self-conscious and you end up getting everything tangled wrong. And you beat yourself up about that afterwards too. Oh, I presented my card in the wrong way, or I went into the room ahead of the person I should have gone ahead of, or I criticised uh, somebody in a meeting when you know very well that you're not supposed to obviously criticise someone because it means save, uh, losing face. Um, there are all kinds of different aspects of etiquette in each individual Asian country and you, of course, have to try and learn them. But at the same time as you're learning them, don't get so tied up that you can't perform in any way. I remember that once I was standing in the uh, lobby of a uh, hotel in Bangkok, a five-star hotel, and um, a Western businessman came in, I think he was American, perhaps British or German, but whatever, he came in and of course they present this lovely garland to you when you first arrive in a hotel or in many um, formal situations in, in, in Thailand and uh, they put it round your neck. At the same time, they give a pranam, which is a gesture to the head, a Buddhist gesture of greeting. So, um, you tend to give a little pranam back if you're practiced in that, or if you feel self-conscious about it, don't. Just maybe a little bow of the head or a smile. Well, this poor gentleman, um, he was receiving his uh, garland, and he also uh, had the pranam given to him by the hotel manager and some very gracious uh, Thai ladies in their traditional gowns. And of course the poor fella got completely flustered by all this and he wanted to give his business card to the um, hotel manager uh, in the correct way, which is holding it at the corners correctly and with the Thai sign pointed out, uh, presented outwards and the garland was being given to him and he, perhaps he'd come straight from Japan <clears throat> because there the Japanese bow pretty deeply and if you get into it you also start to bow rather deeply. Well, the upshot was that he started doing all of these things together. Um, the pranam, the presenting the card, in, well, in the card he tried first, then the pranam and the uh, garland was going on around him and he tried to bow. He tripped over himself and fell, uh, did two little steps forward and then fell down onto a sofa. And the poor man was horrendously embarrassed by the whole thing and brushing himself on everyone was brushing himself off. But what I wanted to say to him, and I didn't because it would have been intrusive, but I wanted to say to him, don't take it so seriously. Because he actually was trying to do all of it, all at the same time. So that's my little tip for today. Don't end up flat on your face. And if you do end up flat on your face, brush yourself down and carry on. Smile about it. Your host will certainly smile about it and appreciate your effort to uh, join in their respect systems. But don't become totally self-conscious. Remain yourself. Pick up some tips, ideas and etiquette on the way and don't beat yourself up. That's my tip for today and I thank you for following. If you'd like me to give you more training or tell you more about Asian business cultures, environments and how to uh, tailor your uh, Asian business plans to the particular country where you're targeting, please go to my website www.davidcliveprice.com where you can fill in a short contact form at the bottom of the page and apply for a free strategy consultation with me. I wish you every business success in Asia and I look forward to talking to you again.